Look ahead, Houston minus two and a half. We're starting to see, oh, maybe just a little bit of an inch towards three. Texans lost that tight game on the road at Carolina. Good for the Panthers getting that first win. Good for us because we predicted it. Uh, and Tampa Bay somehow uh, managed to cover. I don't know how they did it on that last drive. But the back door was open in Buffalo last Thursday. So the Bucks get that mini buy. Does that factor in at all here, Chris, as, as you're kind of leaning, um, leaning in a direction to maybe take the Texans? Yeah, I like the Texans a lot here. I think Tampa Bay had a great start to the season, and they've been uh, kind of exposed and fading each week as it goes along. Uh, I have Tampa Bay the third worst uh, team over the last three or last five weeks. And um, meanwhile, uh, Houston is uh, still doing well. They started off really well. They're, they actually are probably rated a little bit higher than they should be on their metric side of things. And they're at home. Uh, I just don't think Tampa Bay is a better team. And if you can have less than a field goal with Houston, I'm all in. And I even, if you, you know, like 10 point teasers, I even like Houston plus seven and a half. I think that's a look also. Yeah, I'm like, it's like Shark Tank. I'm all out. Um, I agree with everything Chris says, but I'm all out. Um, yes, Houston's <laughs> better. Houston, I've got. 18th best in the league and Tampa Bay 22 best. And I got them a point better, but this they're home. So what, you know, home field might be worth a point and a half max in a Houston Texan game. It only gets me to two yeah. and a half. It doesn't get me to where I have a profitable venture. Hey, reminder to all, if you like what you're hearing, smash the like button. And by the way, I'm going to throw this out there. Anyone who asks, I'm not monitoring the questions. Jared is anyone asks an exceptional question. I'm going to take you out to dinner. Some, if you're out in Vegas during the summer, I'm too busy otherwise. But I will take you out there. You love at, you love giving away free dinners, man. I well, I, you're a lonely guy, Fez. You know, get you got to get you some friends, man. You always want to get these randoms for dinner. I'll come have dinner with you. We'll I'll, go I'll throw it out there. I got two thousand in circa points and two thousand in <laughs> Caesar's points. I mean, I got comp points to burn because I bet sports a lot, and those are excellent sports books they give out, you know, comps to. So. Um, it, it, it's not the best question. It's got to be what I deem to be an exceptional question, and I will let Jared monitor those questions. I yes. love it. I, I'm seeing some good stuff in the chat. Um, a good a good point by Mark Holmes about Rippin. Um, which Rippin, right? There's a bunch of them, but uh, I think it's Mark Rippin or Brett Rippin. One of, one of them played a while ago. One of them is now playing. Um, he played at Boise, so he's not um, – this is the Rams' backup quarterback, so not um, phased by the weather perhaps. But how about the other 52 guys on the roster? Where did they play college football? Uh, especially the receivers and the guys that have to catch the ball. I'm more interested in that. Um, oh, heck, but it I, is a Jared, good point I, that, that uh, Rippin. I went, I went to school in Chicago. It was plenty cold. But um, believe me, one year after I, I, I moved to La La Land in Newport Beach – yeah, I was putting on the parka when it hit 55 degrees. <laughs> yeah, it was 40 when I was walking the dog this morning. I didn't love that. Um, all right, so Texans back to the task at hand. Texans, Bucks, uh, Chris is laying it two and a half with Houston. That's probably the only way I would look to play this game. Houston's been good this year, and I know they're coming off a loss, uh, but I thought that Panthers team was primed for a win. So Houston under a field goal at home seems like the way to look at it, and Chris is laying it with the Texans.